Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as we all know, it is the spooky season once again, and I'm obliged to do some kind of scary science video when this time is upon us. And I usually confine my scary science videos to something monstery, like crazy creaturey. But this time, I'm gonna do something a bit different. Because a company recently released a video showcasing their new housekeeping robot, and um, yeah, I think it's a bit terrifying. And I feel bad because I have zero doubt that the company who built this thing worked their absolute tail off, and I'm all for developing new tech and paving new pathways, but this thing is just so scary. So I'm gonna drop a little robot footage on you guys today and explain how this thing works and you guys tell me. Have I seen just too many movies or is this thing genuinely scary? So the company that we are talking about today is called Figure. And according to their website, they say they are the first of its kind AI robotics company, bringing a general purpose humanoid to life. Based in Silicon Valley, Figure has about 360 employees and secured a $1 billion investment at a valuation of $39 billion and counts NVIDIA, Jeff Bezos, OpenAI, and Microsoft among its investors. In August of 2025, Time Magazine visited Figure's headquarters to meet their latest robot, the Figure 3, who was currently undergoing some top secret training. The company had two previous models, the figure one and the figure two. And figure two had the same software that figure three has and apparently worked some daily 10 hour shifts lifting parts at a BMW factory. And I can only imagine those BMW workers like, hey guys, here are some new temp workers that you're gonna see around. Don't bother to introduce yourselves because it doesn't matter. Anyway, Time Magazine wrote this really interesting article about their experience observing Figure 3. And in October 2025, Figure released this YouTube video showing what Figure 3 can do. And, um... Yeah, this is where it gets scary. Because despite their honest efforts to showcase this robot in the most chill, NBD light possible, just our casual robot walking calmly around, running errands, serving us drinks, I find this video absolutely terrifying. I mean, look at this thing. I'm like, get out. Get out of my house. Now look, I'm not a robophobic kind of gal over here. We have driverless cars in LA and little tiny food delivery robots that deliver our DoorDash orders. And the food delivery robots, especially, I find really adorable. But also, I'm like, I can take this robot. You know what I mean? Like if this thing goes berserker, I can take that robot out. But this guy? No. No, I don't think I can. But figure three is clearly extremely impressive and this household robot vibe is definitely the goal. Figure hopes that figure three will become the first robot suitable for carrying out domestic chores in the home, as well as all kinds of manual labor. Figure claims that figure three will be its first mass producible humanoid and that it will eventually work on its own production line. And we've been tinkering with robots for many decades now and writing about robots in science fiction for a hundred plus years. We use robotic elements in many industries, including the auto industry and big companies like Amazon. But clearly the big difference is that those robots look markedly unhuman. They're built for tightly scoped tasks and work in controlled environments. Achieving a humanoid robot that can navigate the unpredictabilities of the world with the same fluidity as a human being has been a huge challenge for a long time. And I know we've seen companies like Boston Dynamics release incredible videos like this about what their robots can do. But again, it is an uncontrolled environment. And honestly, I find the Boston Dynamics robots far less creepy. They look like beta tests. They have a very machine looking look. Figure three trying to look like a kind of an astronaut is just... I don't know. But according to this article from Time Magazine, dozens of companies are racing to be the first to create a viable humanoid robot. And they report that Figure faces stiff competition from Tesla's Optimus division and China's Unitree, among many others. The size of the opportunity that they are chasing is roughly $40 trillion, according to Figure's CEO, Brett Adcock, who arrives at that figure by calculating the value of all 
all labor in the global economy. He says in the next 10 years, maybe under 10 years, the biggest company in the world will be a humanoid robot company. He goes on to say every home will have a humanoid, which will do domestic chores from emptying the dishwasher to making the bed. We think there will be billions in the workforce doing work every day. They'll be in healthcare, and then ultimately over time, they'll be in space too, helping build colonies in space and on different planets. Now, of course, time points out that tech CEOs are known for making sometimes exaggerated claims. But they also point out that Adcock's optimism is at least partially grounded in the recent development of an AI that for the first time can do something that approaches understanding our messy world. These neural networks can take an image or video and tell you what appears to be going on. They can follow complex, vague, or open-ended instructions. They can simulate reasoning. These advancements in AI have significant narrowed the once fearsome challenge of developing a machine that can cope with the unpredictability of living life as a human. And the development of this AI have left companies like Figure with plenty of cash to back up their optimism. But for now, as I stated, Figure is just trying to focus on Figure 3 being able to successfully complete domestic duties. And Time Magazine said that the demonstrations that they witnessed had varying degrees of success. The robot could successfully load and start a washer and dryer, but it struggled picking up a piece of laundry that fell on the ground. And there was a successful towel folding demonstration, but it took a couple of attempts. And Adcock even admits they have a ways to go. He said, we want the robot to be able to do most things in your home autonomously all day, but we're not there yet. We think we can get there in 2026, but it's a big push. Adcock also says Figure's internal neural network, called Helix, is capable of learning new tasks with staggeringly small amounts of data. He claimed its towel folding abilities came from only 80 hours of video footage. The article has a lot more technical information about how exactly Figure 3 works and the various pilot programs that it went through to learn its domestic duties, and also how the robot manages elements like dexterity and balance. It's super interesting. So if you're curious for more information, I'll put a link in the description. I also liked how they said that they designed this robot to be five foot six or about 168 centimeters in order for it to be less intimidating. But I'm like, no, no, still terrifying. I am taller than this robot, but I'm still like, get out, get out of my house. I'll do my own laundry. Just go back to delivering my pad thai and stay out of my house. <laughs> And another terrifying tidbit is that Adcock says he is testing figure three in his own home where he has small children, though he admits that the robot is subject to hardcore babysitting. But he did add that he has his own internal version of Isaac Asimov's three laws of robotics, including the one where robots are not allowed to injure human beings. But he did say his version is proprietary and he won't get into the specifics of it. He said, getting the robot to be extremely safe in the home long-term is a really hard problem. Maybe one of the hardest problems we face. Yeah, Brett, you think? So what do you guys think? Is this an appropriate Halloween themed video because you find this robot as terrifying as I do? Or do you think it's gonna be awesome? Sign me up, ship one over. Or is it like maybe, but I'm not gonna be the first one to order one. A bit of a wait and see. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's it for now. Whew, I'm gonna be dreaming about this creepy robot. I hope you all have a very happy and safe Halloween. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.